In this video, we are going to see how to create Facebook lead ads form and get leads on WhatsApp. So first we are going to start with creating a Facebook lead ads form. And once done, let's say that you have received a new lead through the forms that you have shared. Now this particular lead has to be shared a WhatsApp message talking about your business and you know, new offers, etc. So for this, you will have to integrate these two applications and the same can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger would be Facebook lead ads and your action application would be WhatsApp. Now, how can you do this yourself and automate this entire process to understand that? Let me take you to my screen. So let us now begin with the process here. First, you have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to click on the sign up tab. Here at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And now we have reached the all applications page. So since we are doing this integration using public Connect software, let's click on access now. And now we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. I'm going to click on this and a dialog box appears, which is asking me to name my workflow. Here, my objective is to understand how to integrate WhatsApp and Facebook lead ads. For this, I'm going to name it as integrate WhatsApp and Facebook lead ads. So now let's click on create. And here we have reached this window, which has got two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers is when this happens and action is do this. Basically trigger is what makes your workflow run and action is the response. Now here, what would be my trigger application? So here my trigger application would be Facebook lead ads. So I'm going to click on this. And now the trigger event. So here trigger event would be new lead instant. Basically, we have to understand how can we integrate WhatsApp and Facebook lead ads. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now I'm going to click on add new connection. Why? Because Pabli Connect is here asking me to connect itself with the Facebook lead ads account. Now let's click on connect with Facebook lead ads. And now here you can see that the authorization has been successful. I have already logged into my Facebook account. Now, as we come down here, you can see that it is asking me for the page and the lead generation form. For this, first I'm going to take you to my Facebook account and let's understand. See, these are the various pages. If I click on this, you can understand that I have already created a lot of pages for test demo like home decor, Medicare Hub, Firestore, Uni Clothes, Pavli Tech, etc. So these are the various pages and within these pages, there are certain forms. So going back to Pavli Connect, here I have to select a page and a form. So let's say here I want to select ABC Plant Nursery. So I'm going to click on this. And since there is only one form in that, so it will automatically capture it. See here, Nursery Brochure Form. Now, once done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And once this is done here, you can see that it is asking me to log into the application and then do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So for this, for the test submission, I'm going to go and click on this hyperlink Facebook lead ads testing tool. So let's click on this. And once done, so here you can see that uh, we have to use this tool to test our API integration. I'm going to select the page, which is ABC Plant Nursery. See the form has already been captured here. Let's click on this preview form. So here let's fill in this information. Let's say the name, the email address is demo at pablitudes.com. And here we have the full name as demo test, right? And then we have the phone number. So let's say the phone number is, and now I'm going to click on next. Let's click on submit. And as soon as we do that, if we go back to public connect, here you can see that we will receive the API response. And yes, finally, see, we have received the API response. This was the created time. If I go down, 
So this is our email address, then the full name and the phone number. Once we have received this, then what is our next action? We want this information to be shared on WhatsApp. So I'm going to click on this and now I'm going to select the application WhatsApp Cloud API. And then here my action event would be to send a template message. Let's click on connect. Once done here, you can see that Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the WhatsApp Cloud API account. So let's click on add new connection. Here to set up this connection, we need a token, a phone number ID and a WhatsApp business account ID. So for this, I'm going to take you to my Meta for developer. So here you can see my applications. I'm going to click on this. Here you can see that I already have created a lot of applications here. You can create your own app by clicking on this green tab on the right hand corner. Now I'm going to use this My Connect Message app. Let's click on this. As we do that here on the left hand side, you can see this bar where we have WhatsApp. I'm going to click on this and click on Getting Started. So here you can see that we have received the access token, the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID. But there is one thing that you really have to keep in your mind, which is this is just a temporary access token, which means if you will create a workflow using this access token, it will expire in 23 hours. It will stop working after a day. For this, you will have to create a permanent access token and the same can be created using the video which is given in the description box. So there is a dedicated video which tells you how to create a permanent access token. So you can do that yourself. Now I'm going to copy this temp temporary access token and as this is just a test demo. So going back to Pabli Connect here, let's paste it. Now, once done, going back to this, I'm going to copy this phone number ID and paste it here. And then finally, the WhatsApp account ID. And this is the WhatsApp account ID. And here, I'm going to paste it. Once done, let's click on Save. And now we can see that Pabli Connect and WhatsApp Cloud API, these two applications are now connected. Here it is asking me for the template name. So what is a template basically? So every time you receive the leads through Facebook, you want to send them a message. Now you cannot write this message again and again. So you want a pre-written message to be shared with everyone with the basic changes. That is known as a template. So here, if I take you back to my Metaphor Developers page, there on the step two, you can see to create your own message template, click here. So I'm going to click here. And now here you can see that we already have a lot of message templates. You can create your own by clicking on this create message template. So here let's wish that. Uh, so here let's say that I wish to send a message to the admin that you have received the following lead and then these are the details. So I'm going to search for an admin message that I've already created. So this is the message. And here you can see that there is no header. There's only a body which says this is to inform you that we have received the following lead. Details are the name, mobile number and email address regards. And here you can see certain numbers in uh, double curly braces. These are basically variables, which means that for every message, this information will keep on changing depending on the lead that you have received. And this will look like this. This is to inform you that we have received the following lead. Details are this. So going back to Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to select the template name, which is admin message. Let's click on this. Now once done here, we have to write the mobile number of the recipient. So let's say here my recipient is the admin. I want to share the details with my admin. So here I'm going to make this static which means this will not keep on changing so i'm now going to write the number and this is the number also understand that your number has to be with the country code but without the plus sign then we have the demo name so i'm going to go to the first step and write name so here we have the full name then we have the mobile number so again i'm going to the first step and if i go down so here we have the mobile number and then we have the email address. So going to the first step, we are going to write at and here we have the mobile uh, email address. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the response on our WhatsApp. And this basically means that these two applications are now totally connected. And now I want that a message should be shared with my client as well. For this, I'm going to add another action step here. 
The application is going to be the same WhatsApp cloud API and here the action event would be send template message. Let's click on connect. I'm going to use the existing connection. So I'm going to simply click on save and then here I have to select the template name. So I'm again going to select send brochure final. So let's click on this. And now as I come down, here is the recipient's mobile number. So here I'll have to map the mobile number that we have just received. So this is the mobile number. But here you can see that we have received this number with the plus sign. So for this, I'll have to add another action step over here. So here I'm going to choose the application text formatter, which is a feature by Pabli. So let's click on this and here I want to split the text. So let's click on connect. And now as I come down, what is this text that I wish to split? So it is the number. So I'm going to click on this and now the separator. So I want this plus sign to be the separator and I just want the data after it. So I'm going to right click on second because I need the second segment and then save and send test request. And here we have the number. Now as I go down, so this is the recipient's mobile number. So I'm going to now first again click on connect so that it can be connected. Select existing connection and click on save. Now here again, I'm going to map the data. So this is the mobile number. This is the mobile number of the lead that we have received. And then the header document URL. For this header document URL, I'm going to take you to my WooCommerce account. And here on the left hand side, you have media. So let's go to media. And here I'm going to select documents and then for this ABC nursery, let's say that I want to add the agro fertilizer document. So I'm going to copy this URL, go back to Babli connect and paste it here. Then the file name. So the file name here would be ABC fertilizer. Once done here, I have to map the data. So now I'm going to click on this. So this message has to be shared with my lead. Basically here I need the name of my lead. So I have mapped this. Then we need the name of the company. Again, I'm going to write Pabli Connect. And then the email address here is your email address. Now let's click on save and send test request. Again, here you can see that we have received the WhatsApp message. And here is the screenshot of the same which basically means that now this particular message has been shared with the admin as well. So I hope you have understood this well. Now what we are going to do is we are going to check it in real time. So I'm going to go back to lead ads testing tool. First, I'm going to delete the lead that I've already created. So once deleted here, then I'm going to just refresh the page once and then select the page which was ABC plant nursery. The form has already been captured. Click on. Print. So here we have to fill in the details. So let's say the email address is test user at publitudes.com. Then we have the full name as test user. Then we have the phone number as and now I'm going to click on next. So let's click on submit. So as soon as we have submitted, what should happen? I should, first of all, let's say if I'm the admin, I should receive a message and also the lead should receive a WhatsApp message. So now let's see if we have received the message. So yes, here you can see that we have received the messages. And uh, since I had given my number, so this basically means that this entire process is a success. Now I'm going to quickly take you back to Pabli Connect and quickly understand what did we do. So here we have integrated WhatsApp and Facebook lead ads where our trigger application was Facebook lead ads and our trigger event was new lead instant. Once done, then the second step was where we had chosen our action application as WhatsApp cloud API and the event was sent template message. And in the third step, we had chosen a feature by Pavli, which was text formatter. And then we had chosen the event as split text. And in the last step, we had again chosen the action application as WhatsApp Cloud API. And the event was send template message. 
I hope this is very much clear to you. In case you have any doubt, you can refer to the same workflow this is given in the video description. You can also clone this workflow and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any doubt or any issue, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit our us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.